君を知ってるか思いは全然ないで、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、あるなら、Communities achievements in 2022. On behalf of the staff at Void Interactive, we would sincerely like to thank you for your continuous support and feedback of Ron. We owe our success to you. The team is excited to continue working on Ready or Not and looks forward to all the new exciting updates to come in 2023. Since our launch into Steam Early Access in December of 2021, Ready or Not has progressed quite steadily towards our goal of full release in 2023. Both community and development efforts have ramped up as we've expanded our development team, worked closer with different p o r t s Portions of our community and worked hard to grow the community we already have. So they are actually trying to do full release in 2023. What do you guys think? Do you think they're actually going to make that? In my personal opinion, I feel like they're going to need to do a lot. Like, we're still not even looking at the multiplayer or campaign just yet. It will definitely be interesting to see what that looks like. But moving on here community content over the course of 2022. The community came together to produce a prolific amount of content. Videos that run the gauntlet from critique to compilation, every flavor of art one could look for, and even community photos of members doing their best impressions of the Los Sunas Police Department. And we have a picture of obviously all the swap players. To the left here and the coffee machine, all the static NPCs that are here, and this guy proposing to that one chick that usually sits there. Pretty wholesome picture, not gonna lie. Underneath the picture, it says the winning art from our community art contest produced by Et -na Et Nad E T N A D. Etnad? Picturing the newly engaged husband and wife. I'm not sure if that's canon or not. I just assume it's something that's、uh, this person made up. But、uh, yeah. Moving on, we got another picture of the SWAT units out in the field here. Almost looking like military, if I'm being honest. And、uh, to get more context on the picture, underneath it, it says The winner of our photo contest, Roll Your Boy, took a stunning picture of the two geared individuals backlit by the sunset. Wait, are these real people? Or are these like in game? I mean, they do. Look, they, look, they do kind of look real, not gonna lie. Not too sure. It could be a real picture. No idea. But, anyways, on the side of modifications to the game itself, modders have continuously outdone themselves with a veritable mountain of content, and their passion has not gone unnoticed. We introduced a mod integration into the game itself using the mod.io platform, and through continued support and tweaking of the integration of mod.io, we have made an amazing amount of progress on both the UI and UX fronts, resulting in a more reliable modding experience. As mentioned in In、the recent AMA, which I haven't really had time to cover, I'll probably do that later. The possibility of Steam Workshop arriving has not been entirely taken off the table. Oh my god, really? So, if mod.io isn't your preferred mod delivery platform, then keep your eyes peeled. Oh, okay, maybe I need to go look at this AMA like right away. But, anyways, I wish I had the time and space to plug some of our favorite mods, but then this newsletter would be mostly mods. I highly suggest checking out our community content showcases for more in depth. Look at our frankly spectacular mods. Finally, we cannot forget about our community that is the key to our continued presence on YouTube, TikTok, and other. Other media platforms. The content creators, we appreciate every single one of them. From small channels posting videos of their friends, first run through Vol House. Vol Health House to users putting together beautiful flamed pseudo trailers videos. I don't know if I should watch this because this is somebody else's content, but if you want to check it out, this guy goes by Shep Lab. I'm sorry, Eve. It's my fault. Pretty interesting trailer. The amazing video produced by Shep Lab. Give this creator some love. Outside of media, we've partnered with Lurkit to be able to reach more content creators in a more organic manner, giving us the ability to existing content creators more compensation for their work and reach out to new ones to further increase the reach of Ready or Not. You know, I was actually able to sign up to that website, but I just haven't really used it for anything. I mean, I guess I should really like try it out, but I don't know. I guess it's one way to get like free keys and stuff for like new games, but I don't, I just haven't really dove all that deep into it. But, anyways, moving on here to development milestones. Since our launch into early access at the very end of 2021, the growth of Ready or Not has been explosive in proportion to the competitive nature of early access shooter space. The vision of Ready or Not has come into clearer focus after. 
after every single update with refinement of weapons, sounds, levels, AI, etc. And with the invaluable feedback from our community, the game will continue to come closer and closer to its finished state. 2022 brought us 17 new weapons, among them being the introduction of the PDW class with the MP7 and P90, the renewing of the venerated M4 into the class of modern MK18, among a plethora of other beautifully rendered and powerful sounding firearms. Among the close to a dozen, there are many standout maps, among those being Raid and Vault Health House. Why do they keep changing the names? There's like three different names for one freaking map, and that, that is annoying. And it's impeccably kept upper floor hiding a horrifying secret underneath. The bright and beautifully rendered club, marred by violence and turning the entire building into a neon tomb. Or the final moments of the ex-USIA agent, Gerard, at his home in Sullivan Slope. If there was anything that I had an issue with in terms of like guns, I just kind of wish that they added a lot more rifles because I feel like that's one thing that was kind of lacking. I mean, there's a lot of guns in Ready or Not, but I just feel like they added way more uh, submachine guns than anything else. Hopefully we get more rifles this time around. But anyways, then we have a picture here that we've seen before, the MP7. And underneath this picture, it says the MP7's first in the game's PDW category. Moving on. Of course, without the backend improvements, the maps would not be as spectacular as they are without the overhaul to the game's lighting system to greater show off the excellent work of our mapping and art team. Yeah, the maps are pretty beautiful and you know really realistic looking for the most part underneath this it says the new lighting engine in action in 2023 we wish to carry red or not into its release window and beyond continue to refine our labor of love until we can't anymore no matter how soon or how late that comes we will continue to communicate with our audience you can find a sneak peek into some of our future plans in our recent developers AMA, which I will make another video for that fairly soon, so look out for that. But anyways, we hope that every single one of our supporters, new and old, continue to stick by us into the future of Void Interactive and Ready or Not. In conclusion, this concludes our first briefing of the new year. When we looked at some things Ready or Not has achieved in 2022, be sure to tune in next time for our development news. And that pretty much does it for this newsletter here. Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's really more of a achievement achievements that they did this year and you know what i think ready or not has been the most productive in 2022 than it really has i mean i'm not saying that they haven't done anything like before i'm just saying that it, it showing off a lot more stuff like it really started back in december when we felt that the game was finally doing something that we wanted it to do when we felt like it was going in a different direction before that and then they started adding a lot more stuff so i mean 2022 was definitely a good year for ready or not in terms of progress i mean i'm sure they were doing a lot behind the scenes but us actually getting to see it this time around that was that was a nice change of pace so what are your guys thoughts on this year in review let me know down below in the comments because i'm gonna get the heck up out of here like the video if you liked it dislike it if you hated it tell me down below what you thought you thought and uh yeah 2023 baby we are back we are here we are going to uh kick ass until the end of the year and uh yeah that's pretty much where i'm gonna end it off thank you all for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye